Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to my Countdown to Christmas daily vlog. Number 10. Number 10. Wow, this is going to be a great one. You don't want to miss this one. I'm so glad you're here tuning in. And if you've been watching from the very first daily vlog, I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. So stick around, stay tuned, and see who I got to meet. Hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Until next time, this is Joe Wentz for the Joe Wentz Project. I'm not signing off yet. I'm just getting my credentials out of the way now because at the end of the video, it'll just go off. So <laughs> here it comes. Okay, I actually recorded this yesterday. So I thought it'd make for a fantastic daily vlog today. Don't forget to check out my shirts at the links below. Check them out, the shirts. It's awesome. Check me out on my YouTube channel for other live broadcasts and other guitar-related videos. Take care, everybody. Peace out. Merry Christmas. So we got some very cool news just a few minutes ago. Uh, my good friend David Nesdal is in town. He's not in this town, but he's like really not far from me at all. Uh, where he is currently at, um, I would say probably about from here to there. I got to cross the state line. I'd say probably, what, maybe 40, 45 minutes, somewhere in that ballpark. Maybe a little bit more than 45 minutes, but not far, which which is nothing compared to, because I believe he lives in New York. And uh, so he's down here, uh, real close to my area for holidays, and I would like to meet him. I'd like to meet the man, the legend, that is David Nesdal. Uh, very nice gen uh, gentleman, very nice gentleman. Uh, we are the same age, and uh, I got him a Christmas gift, so he doesn't know that yet. But uh, I hope he likes it. Um, and I got him some Joe Wentz Project guitar picks. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to meet him, to actually be able to meet him face to face and you know shake his hand. And, and uh, he's a really nice guy, very talented uh, musician. Uh, if you haven't never seen my interview with Dave, if you go back on my channel a good ways, I think the first hangout I, I had done was with David Nesdal and, and I pretty much did like an interview with him you know how he got started in music and everything uh, and it's very good his his uh, his part of the video is his room is really well lit this is when I was first uh, trying to learn how to do hangouts and so when you look at when I start talking and it shows me in my room it's like real dark and the camera's bad it's just it's awful but but uh, but the focus is on is on David and uh, and his story is really interesting. I mean, it really is, you know. So uh, you know, he's had to go through a lot in his life and stuff like that, and he come out the other side, you know, a winner. And and uh, but he he is a nice guy, and uh, so we're heading that way to meet him. So uh, hope you stick around. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, catch you in just a few minutes. All right. As you can see, we're out in the country. <laughs> I told you I live out in the sticks. And uh, so right down here, just you'll see the sign right here on the right, that white highway sign, it says Junction 11. Right there, we just passed it. Here's some more signs right here. That is the road we're getting on to carry us to the interstate eventually. Boy, there's an old store right there. It's been abandoned for years. Golly, that place has been abandoned for a long time. Man. And uh, what's crazy, this road here, at night, this road is really, really, really dark. As you can see, there's no street lights, no nothing. And I have to come back this way to come home. So... It's uh, want to be risky because right in this area right here, actually, 
three deer ran out in front of me, I guess about a couple years ago, about three years ago. And uh, two of them, one went across, I'm sorry, two of them did, and the other one ran out and hit right on my side driver's door, just ran smack into the side of my truck. Put a big old dent in the door, not the truck I have now, this is the truck I used to have, which was a uh, Chevy S10. And uh, so I had to take the door panel off and take like a rubber hammer and knock the dent back out the best I could. <laughs> but out in this area, deer are, are really bad, especially now that it's cold weather. And uh, I have had no good luck with deer. So hopefully I will not come into that tonight. Keep my fingers crossed. I don't want to see Rudolph yet. <laughs> right up here is the exit we're looking for, the highway rather. We've been on Highway 11 for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And now we're gonna jump off this highway, which is known as Highway 25. That will eventually take us to Interstate 26, as you can tell in the uh, signs right there to the right. There you go. So we're gonna take this exit right here. And kind of a sharp exit a little bit, not too bad. But uh, you get on this Highway 25, and like I said, it takes you to 26, and uh, we will cross into North Carolina here shortly uh, on this highway here. And then 26, you know, when we get on 26, I'll show you in a minute, we'll officially be in the mountains, which we're really close to the mountains now. So, uh, I mean, look at that. The scenery is beautiful. I mean, when you get up around these past these trees you start seeing the mountains and everything it's really gorgeous and uh, so I love living out here in the country even though I was born and raised in Charlotte North Carolina but now I live in the country and uh, I wouldn't trade it for nothing it's it's a it's beautiful it really is I don't know if the camera does this view justice but look at those mountains look at that <laughs> that is gorgeous man how could you not love that that is just gorgeous and here we are as you can probably see in the frame in just a second there is a North Carolina state line right there she is welcome to North Carolina Henderson County we're officially in the Tar Heel State Boy, the state troopers are out in force today. <laughs> I've already passed a few of them just being on this road here after I crossed into North Carolina. And uh, ain't got to worry about me getting a ticket because I'm not going to be speeding. No way. No. <laughs> I don't need that trouble. Don't need that trouble. And as you can see on this sign up here, 26 West right there that's what we're looking for speed limit drops to 55 and you can see the signs with the orange flags on them letting you know the speed limit drops so we're coming out of a 65 mile per hour zone to a 55 so here we go we're getting ready to get on 26 here in just a second now we're officially on 26 all right and uh the town we're coming up to now is a town called Hendersonville, and it's a, a nice little town. Very nice, especially at Christmas time. All right, we're close to where we need to be, so the best thing for me to do right now is go ahead and put this address in my GPS so I can get to where Mr. Dave is at. All right, so stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Well, we made it. We're here to see Mr. Dave Nesdal. Let's go in here and check it out. <laughs> see how Mr. Dave's doing today. This is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project, and look who I ran into. Hey. It's Mr. Dave Nesdal. How are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, look at that gorgeous guitar you're playing there, man. Oh, thank you very Can you much. tell us a little bit about that guitar? Sure. It's a, a custom shop 52 Telecaster that's been aged. That is gorgeous. And uh, Yeah, I've had, this, I've had this for a few years. 
and uh, it's one of my main gigging guitars. Very nice. Yeah. And Dave was kind enough to let me play that guitar, and it is <laughs> fantastic. It's amazing. The neck is really thick. It's yeah, it's very baseball. It, it reminds me of a, a Les Paul or something, right? Gibson. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh, it's well, it, um, Telecasters from the early '50s are going to feel pretty much just like this. They they had very big necks, and as the years progressed, they got smaller and smaller. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I have a uh, '50s road worn, um, yeah, road worn telly that I've had for probably maybe two years now, mm -hmm. and I love it. And the main reason I love it is because the neck is really thin. Because mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have big, you know, long fingers. Yeah, I don't either. I have short, stubby fingers, but it's just uh, the way it fits in this part of the hand. Right. Is what's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it is very because I don't I don't play like I don't play like shredders where my thumb is I don't behind. Need, I don't either. I always yeah. you know my thumb is always over the fretboard. So. Right, right. So it fits in here really nicely. Yes. Very nice, yeah. and it's, it rings really well too. It's a very loud guitar. It's six pounds. The body is still here. Feel feel the body resonate. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It'll keep resonating. Yeah. It's just now. Did you do anything special to this guitar, or did you just uh, get it as is? The or? only thing that I did to the guitar, well, I put new pickups in. These are Don Mayer pickups. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a he's a pickup uh, winder mm -hmm. from I think he's in uh, in Seattle, Washington, or near Seattle, Washington. Yes. And uh, these guitars come with uh, brass saddles, but I put steel saddles on because I, I like the sound better. Oh, okay. And this bridge plate is a Callahan bridge plate. Oh, okay. So it's uh, it's just a, 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 a better piece of steel. Right. And other than that, the guitar is, you know, it's stock. Right. Uh, it comes with the big frets in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just you know it's, it's great. It's it's um, ash body maple neck, just like they made them in the early fifties. That is gorgeous, man. Yeah. So is this one of your top guitars that you like? This to play? is one of my yeah one of my main gigging guitars. This and and my Les Paul and uh, now my Strat with the humbuckers in it. Is it true that you have a what is it a fifty seven Les Paul? Is it a fifty nine? Uh, fifty nine. Fifty nine. Oh my God, lady man. You're sitting on top of a gold mine. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's awesome. Now, when did you get the '59? A also, a few years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, that's that's amazing. That is very nice. That is so cool. When Dave was kind enough to give me some of his picks. Oh, and yes, I got some of Joe's picks. Yeah, and I'm, and uh, yeah. A, another gift that I'll uh, I'll be yeah. unwrapping tonight on on uh, the show. With uh, myself and Johnny Bean. Right. Absolutely. I like the little autograph there. That's actually one of my older picks. I, you know, I, the, the newer ones that I have have, have my uh, email address on them as well. But I didn't, they, that happened to be, those right. happened to be in, in the gig bag that I brought. So. Yes. And he gave me a, a big handful. So thank you, Dave. You're thank, welcome. thank you very much. Very kind of you Anytime. to do that. And what a surprise. What a surprise that you came. <laughs> yeah. you know, I came to the door and rang the doorbell. And then uh, Dave's mom could come up and she's like, can I help you? <laughs> so I'm, I'm here to see Dave. <laughs> you know, so it turned out really well. And everybody's been very hospitable. So thank you. Thank you, Dave. Oh, and it's thank you. It's our pleasure. Thank you, everybody. It's really for our pleasure. Let me come into your, your beautiful home. Well, it's not my home, but it's a home away from home. Oh, there you go. You know, so... <laughs> All right, so for next time, this is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project. Thank you, Dave, again for being a part of this. Ah, it's my pleasure. And everybody join uh, Johnny Bean on YouTube. This is his better half, Dave <laughs> Nesdahl. Also See you later as tonight as on Ed EVH McMahon. Gear Live. Yeah, EVH Gear Live. Check it out. The best show on the internet. Ah. Take care, everybody. Be safe. Peace out. Later. Bye-bye. Well, there you go, Mr. David Nesdahl. It was really cool to see Dave and his family. They were so hospitable and so nice. And their uh, other friends that were here were super nice too. So it was very nice to meet them. Now I just have to be sure and find my way home. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. But I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick little visit with Mr. Dave. And a uh, super nice guy, like I said. How about that guitar? My God. I wanted to take that guitar with me. <laughs> okay, hope you all enjoyed that. I got to get out of here. I got to get back home. Take care, everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Your voice, your